Okay. Hi. Welcome to my channel. Um, I don't know how long I'll keep this channel for, um, because sometimes I just do things on a whim and it's just like a fun project that I don't continue with, but at least for the time being, this is something I want to do. Um, so I've been through a lot in the past year and it's not really something really easy to explicate or describe. Um, but I'm glad that I am almost completely out of that now. Um, I find that with trauma, it is the cliched saying, like, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Um, but I guess I have a lot of rage at I guess the universe for something so terrible happening that I had to endure. Um, like the anger isn't directed at any person because nobody was to blame and I don't blame myself. But anyway, I don't want this to be like a whole complaining video but I find that in the aftermath of trauma and even during trauma um, literature good literature really helps me so I wanted to read a passage from one of my favorite books by one of my favorite authors um, because I think it's just so beautifully written and it it's really uplifting, um, just the poetry of it. Okay, so I'll just read it. Um, it's The book is The Infinities by John Banville. Um, I haven't read all of his works yet, and there are a few I've read that I didn't particularly like just because of some of the characters. Um, but I almost always like his style of writing and this book I think is one of his best works um, and yeah one of my favorite lines is the opening line or the opening passage which I will read now of the things we fashion for them that they might be comforted Dawn is the one that works. When darkness sifts from the air like fine soft suit and light spreads slowly out of the east, then all but the most wretched of humankind rally. Yeah, that's just so, I don't know, elegantly written and even the sounds of it, like the alliteration and how he describes darkness sifting out of the air instead of light permeating into the sky. I don't know. It's just, I guess, unusual in um, a very pleasing way. Uh, but yeah, things like that really kind of like fill my soul <laughs> um, and yeah it's just there's so much beauty in life um, despite all the terror anyway uh, let's see so I'm taking a break from school right now. Um, I was... Okay. Sorry. 
I was, am, a pharmacy student. Um, I've done four years. I have two left. Um, I have uh, a bachelor's already in psychology. Um, and yeah, another degree that I'm not going to use. I mean, not that one. I have like a copywriting, marketing degree. Um, but yeah, pharmacy is what I intend on making my career. Um, just have two more years left, which I will continue with in 2022 and take the NAPLEX in 2022. Um, or no, wait, actually 2023, that's when I'll take NAPLEX, which is like this licensing exam for pharmac pharmacists. Um, but yeah, I have a year and I think I want to take this time to read a lot. Um, work on recovering from that trauma. Um, because as much as I say that I'm out of it, there's still a lot of relics, I guess, from that time that I have to overcome. Um, as difficult as, as that period of time was, I don't know if I would wish that it never happened because, well, first of all, I survived it and I I really feel like I've toughened up and matured because of it. Um, but yeah, this is pretty, I guess, vague, which is how I usually like to speak, I guess. Um, okay, I think that'll be it for this video. Um, I hope to write a few, I don't know, passages or something in the meantime and share that in the next video because I do really enjoy writing even if it has no like monetary value um just intrinsically it's very enjoyable for me so yeah okay thanks for watching and see you soon